This is Rich from Boots and Jeans Rider. That's Cake sitting right there. <laughs> We're just out riding, talking about the places we've been to, things we've seen. Basically, talking about our motorcycle bucket list. So, we here at Contra Loma Park here in Antioch, California, Contra Loma Regional Park. So, we decided to make a bucket list video. We're going to get back to you. We're just going to head down there and set up so we can get this thing rolling. Stay tuned. <music> Okay, now that we found a spot out here in this beautiful park, got a lake behind us and everything, we're going to start on this bucket list. Now, most people start bucket lists think that you have to jump out of airplanes and crazy stuff like that just before you die. But these are some things that you might want to see while you ah. living. <laughs> while you actually living. And they don't have to be grandiose things. So our bucket list is basically things that we've been to or want to go to while we're riding our motorcycle across this great country in hopes that you can come up with some things that we may have missed if we was in your part of the territory in the United States. So we're just gonna start off, they are in no particular number. We don't really have a number one that we wanna see, but just a couple things that we wanna talk about. Now this bucket list that we have, we did write it down and it only consists of the U.S. Not out of the state, not out of the, the country, just the U.S. Yes, we would like to ride out of the country, so if you're watching, let us know what it's like in your country so we can come and ride there too. Actually, we have a Canadian trip coming up this year in August, so I guess we can add that to the bucket list. Right. Anyway, where you want to start? Let's kind of just look okay, at the well, list and go down the list. Okay, well, we look at the list now. Well, let's just start with the National Parks and Monuments since that's number one on the list. Okay, National Parks and Monuments of this bucket list. One place you must write down on your bucket list is Yosemite. We live out here in the western part of the United States and we see Yosemite a lot, but it's still all in amazes every time we go, especially when you go with the spring runoff. Now I know you guys out there on the west coast, uh, the east coast, have a lot of parks with great spring runoff, but if you just happen to be out on the west coast, make sure you put Yosemite on your bucket list. And now that we're still on the west, uh, let's see, Grand Canyon, Arizona. What can I say? The biggest hole on the planet. So we definitely want to put that on the bucket list. We've been to Grand Canyon twice, and every time we pass through Arizona, we're going to go again. Matter of fact, let, let's take it off National Park. Speaking of passing through Arizona, this is one that every single rider needs. You must. So get it down, write it down, whatever the case may be put this on your bucket list. What you think it is? What you think I'm about to talk about? Oh, in Arizona? Route 66. 66. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's Route why. 66. Route 66 is one of those things, as a motorcyclist, you must ride. <clears throat> and once you ride Route 66, a lot of bucket list things may be on that route. So make sure you ride Route 66. We've done it twice. Check out our video of our very first long motorcycle ride, which consists of Route 66. Make sure you check it out. So there's not much to really explain about Route 66. It's a, it's a fabulous highway that you see a lot of iconic things that you normally just see on television. So put Route 66 on there. If you live in, in the United States, Route 66, should be one of your bucket lists because we rode Route 66 and met all types of people from different countries yeah. that was riding Route 66. We rode with uh, two guys from France. From France, yes. Uh, the UK, and I forgot what the third guy was from. But I'll tell you the story of how we got interested in riding Route 66. We were actually riding down the California Highway, PCH. Pacific Coast Highway 1, which is actually on a bus get list. If you come out of California, you definitely got to ride Highway 1. Or just don't waste your time coming out. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> but we was riding down Highway 1 and just parked our bikes and a couple pulled in from Australia. Yes. And the lady was so excited to see Karen on her own bike. And when they started talking, we picked up the Australian accent. And that's how we found out they were from Australia. So what they actually done was 
brought purchases bikes in Chicago and rode it Route 66 all the way back to Santa Monica. We just happened to catch them going up on Highway 1 and they was headed up to San Francisco to sell their bikes kind of windy to sell their bikes and catch a flight back to Australia. Australia and we started thinking to ourselves wow they from Australia and they rode Route 66 we haven't done that so we immediately put it on our bucket list and I think the year after that or maybe it was the same year I'm not sure we actually rode Route 66 and we rode it twice we got another ride coming up on Route 66 next year where we're going to ride the opposite way and then kind of go throughout the whole country it's going to be a long summer ride i'll be back don't mess with the ducks leave the ducks alone i ain't touching those ducks <laughs> <laughs> anyway <coughs> back to the national park what's another one on our list yellowstone yellowstone wow just by seeing it on tv we have never been to yellowstone no. passed by we actually hit the lower 48 so we passed by but we've never been there so we here is fabulous. We definitely got that on our bucket list. What's another one? The Big Five in Utah. The Big Five. And we're not talking about the sporting goods stores for those no. of you who know the Big Five. Utah we Big have Five consists of Zion. Zion. Bryce Canyon. Canyonland. Arches. And Capitol Reef. Yes, yes, yes. We actually visited the Big Five. This is one of our first long distance ride that was 2,100 miles. So make sure you look at that video. We got a video up now talking about when we went to Utah and visit the Big Five. Actually, during that time, we only hit three of the Big Fives. But since then, we had to visit all of them. So one thing we like most about the Big Five is that's a vacation within itself. It's probably one of our favorite areas of National Park. Not the favorite National Park, but one of the favorite areas of our National Park system because you have those five congested in Utah. And then with that, once you leave Utah, you can actually head down to Arizona and visit the Grand Canyon. So oh, yeah. you can actually yeah. make that part of your bucket list trip to see those. So don't hesitate. Don't sleep on Utah. Utah have a lot to offer. And those of you oh, who've yeah. been in the Utah National Park, you know what I'm talking about. Next, we have the, the Big A people, the four Big A people. Well, that's not a national park, but that's a monument. That's a monument. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore. Within that area, it's a whole lot, to, a whole lot of right there. Wow. There's Iron Iron Mountain Road. Yes, yes. We've been on that one, and I want to go back. There's Needles Highway, which is in Custard Park. There's that, that whole area just fabulous. Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse. horse. <laughs> you got to go see Crazy Horse. Oh, yeah. And Mount Rushmore. Those things, even just riding in that area, once you come around a corner, depending on which way you're coming from, you get to see the big presidents. It's just all inspiring and we definitely going to go back again because she actually said the Iron Mountain Highway is her favorite road to ride. Yeah. yeah. I really don't have a favorite yet. So we start talking I about I just want to put the F6B on that road because I, I, I did it on a Honda Shadow 750. Yeah. A 2015. Now that I have the Honda Goldwing F6B, I want to take that one on Iron Mountain Road. Yes, and that whole area, uh, if you're not there doing the Sturgis Rally, you just you have everything for yourself. But you're there doing the Sturgis Rally, obviously there's a lot of motorcyclists out. And we happened to go there a week, actually two weeks after the Sturgis. We actually missed the rally. And we still got to see things without it being overcrowded. We actually went to Sturgis also. That whole area in South Dakota, you're just going to love the Keystone. I mean, just everything. I don't want to get too hard in it. Now that the wind's picking up, maybe we have to scream. <laughs> oh yeah. But how about Tale of the Dragon? Oh yeah, one of the roads. Yeah, Tale of the Dragon. I'm Everybody sure knows. every motorcyclist has been on Tale of the Dragon. Or should be on Tale of the Dragon. You have to put that on your bucket list at all costs. Matter of matter of fact, yep. there's my shirt from Tale of the we Dragon. Rode, we both rode Tale of the Dragon. Yeah, Tale, Tale of the with Dragon. With two other people. And we're definitely gonna do it again if we're in a Tennessee, North Carolina area. And from what I understand, there's hundreds of fabulous roads all over that area. So that's just one of the roads that we definitely want to ride. What else we have on this list? One other road that we rode on was the Million Dollar Hi Highway in Colorado. Definitely. Beautiful. It was worth the million dollars from the sites <laughs> that, yes. And we rode it when it was kind of wet. Yeah, it was kind of wet. Put that on your bucket list. Definitely put the Million Dollar Highway on your bucket list. 
Okay, what else is on the list? Oh, Beartooth Highway. We Beartooth haven't Highway. been on Beartooth Highway, but it's on our bucket list to go on Beartooth Highway. So look for the video for that when we go on Beartooth Highway, too. I think when we come back from Canada, maybe we'll hit that whole area when we're coming down. I don't know yet. So we definitely going to put Beartooth, or we have Beartooth Highway on our, our bucket list. Oh, what yeah. else? What else? What else we have? Well, I talked about the Coastal Pacific Coast Coastal Route Highway. 1. Oh, yes. On yes. the East Coast. Go from New Hampshire all the way up to Maine, more than 500 miles. We've been on the East Coast. We've been up and down the East Coast, but we never have yet to ride that. And I understand it's spectacular. Another super coastal highway, yeah. just like the Pacific Coast Highway. We're talking about the East Coast. So definitely going to do that one. Oh. And what else? So, well, let's talk oh, about I know some. One. I know one. What you have? You know, I've written down it. Mount Evans. Mount the highest, Evans. The highest peak paid highway in the United, oh, it's written down there? <laughs> Sorry, in the United States, Mount Heaven, almost 14, actually more than 14,000 feet. feet in elevation. We definitely gonna ride that. Now, I know the million dollar highway is 11,000 something, so we definitely got to ride that other one a little higher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do that. What, you, what, what else, else you is on here? Well, while we was on the East Coast, we visited the Statue of Liberty. Yes, yes, That was yes. just something that we wanted to do, and it was very exciting to do it. I was excited. That one definitely was a bucket list because it's something we want to do in our lifetime. Go to New York, see the Statue of Liberty. And we're talking about visiting specific cities. New York was actually one of the number ones on our, our bucket list. And, you know, New York can be overcrowded, very traffic. But that's the excitement of riding out there on a the motorcycle, just not knowing what you're going to run into, not knowing what you're going to see. Yes, we love back roads just like any other motorcyclist. And we have a lot of roads that we definitely want to ride. And I know there's a lot we're going to miss. So as we stated before, make sure you write some of the things in the comment below that we have to go to, especially if it's in your area. Oh, yeah. We'll get there. Definitely. <laughs> what else we have on here? Uh, I know um, what. You have one? Um... Oh man, let's talk about, since we were talking about the United States, Alaska. Yeah. Now we put Alaska on our bucket list and been planning it for the past three years. Three we just years. never gotten a ride there yet. No. So those of you who've been to Alaska, tell us what you think. What you think. Is it give us worth some going? Tips. Is it give us some tips? Is to it worth ride, actually going ride, to Alaska? To riding to, to Alaska. So that we can add to what we already researched on. Right, right. So we definitely gonna so, ride to Alaska. Because we want to ride to Alaska and then, then when they finish building that bridge from California to Hawaii, Hawaii. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say we're going to get that one too. We're going to so ride way, all the way to Hawaii. We rode all 50 states. 50 states. <laughs> anyway, so, look at this one. This one this one I definitely want to put on there. Which uh, one is that? Niagara Falls. Twice. We've been there twice. Make sure you go there to Niagara Falls on the American side, cross over to the Canadian side, which we haven't done yet. But don't forget your passport. Yes. And during the summer, every single night during the summer, they have fireworks in Niagara Falls. That wasn't a firework. That was my kiss. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> fireworks every single summer night in Niagara Falls. It, they're being shot from the Canadian side, and the falls just light up. It's a nice romantic place nice rugged place now one thing we rode in the Niagara Falls area maybe we missed something but there wasn't really no great motorcycle roads that we've seen right in that particular <laughs> Niagara Falls area so let us know that we actually missed that it's probably because we wasn't really looking for anything we're just so excited about the fall we kind of spent most of our time right in that area oh yeah oh we going back speaking of cities which one you have which one New Orleans. New Orleans. Our place of birth. New Orleans. You got to go to New Orleans. Whether you go around Mardi Gras, one of the festivals, I don't care what it is. Go to New Orleans. You're gonna have a great time. Put that on your bucket list. Whether you're on a motorcycle, in a car, or you just walk into New Orleans, like Fast Domino say, walk into New Orleans. Definitely get to New Orleans. Wind picking up again. I know that. Yeah. The messed our page up. I'm trying to sneak me this under the table. Yeah, New Orleans is on there. And Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is a spectacular area. Everything is free. Well, no, let me stop. Everything is not free, but around the, the capital, it's free. 
All the monuments that's over there is free. Yes, you definitely got to so, visit the monuments. You know, the Washington Memorial, uh, Lincoln. Memorial. Dr. Martin Luther King. So, you got to yeah. see that. You got to see the White House, the state capitol. These things is what makes the country what it is. So you definitely got to go to Washington, D.C. And speaking of history, two other places that's rich in history. I know we're going to miss some, so don't get mad if we miss yours. Boston. Got the Boston Tea Party. All the stuff in Boston, you got to go to Boston and see. And I was told that you need more than a week to get the rich history in Boston. And the second spot is Philadelphia. We've been to Philadelphia. We've seen the Liberty Bell. You have Independence Hall. You have just all that rich history in Boston, Philadelphia, Virginia, all that area, New England area. You must, at all costs, put that on your bucket list. Oh, yeah. And I know those of you who live in the area have seen it a thousand times, but you definitely have to put that on your bucket list. New York has the women's right. Was that the w women's right movement we went to? In New York? In New York. We've done so many things in New York, I can't remember all. Yeah. Was, we're just speaking on, on history now, where it just was a whole lot that we went to, to visiting. Like, we went to George Washington Carver House. Oh, yes. Which is George Washington Carver is the high school that we graduated from in New Orleans. And Rams. we were so excited to know that they have a monument after him. So of course, yes, we went there maybe twice, maybe three times, and we'll go again because I know we missed something in there. Okay. So if you went to a school of a famous person, look it up. Maybe they have a monument for that person and you go and, and you go and visit it. It was something very exciting for us to do meaning that we went to George Washington Carver and he wasn't a peanut man and everything that was on there. You learn a little more about more than what the schools was telling you about. Okay, back on our bucket list. We kind of skipped around things. Mm -hmm. uh, Grand Tetons. A lot of people say that's number one on their bucket list. You got to ride in the Grand Tetons and we have never been there. So that give us a little bit more to go out and do when next time we hit the road. So Grand Tetons, write that down on your bucket list. Make sure you write it down. Write it down. Oh, I know what. We Which didn't one? cover some of the, the national big, huge rallies. Rallies. Oh, and yeah. I'm going to put this at uh, numbers. Number one, probably the number one rally in the country is Sturgis. We haven't been to Sturgis. I don't think we have no plans to go to Sturgis, but that's a bucket list item. If you're a motorcyclist, you must put Sturgis on your list. For us, our number one rally is Wingding. You guys know we ride motorcycles. We ride Gold Wings. I have a full dresser. She have a bagger F6B. That thing is a rocket. Actually, she named it Jet Blue. And one thing we love about Wing Ding is it's in different locations each year throughout the country. So that gives us a chance to travel. We only been to one. We may go some more. So stay tuned. And another one is we definitely actually head into this next year in 2020 is Americade up there, Lake George, New York. I think it's the biggest multi-bike rally in the country as we speak right now. I don't know if there's any. So if we missed any rallies, then we're just going to stop at those three right now. I know there's Daytona yeah. and all these other you things know, that's yeah, going those on. Those are bike weeks. And Arizona just had their bike week. Oh, did they? Yeah. We missed that? We lived this close yes, to Arizona? Yes, we missed So it. put rallies down on your bucket list just to go see how other other bikers live in and what they're doing. What they doing. It's, just, it's fun to just talk to other bikers and make friends and exchange numbers and things like that. And one of the things she pointed her finger at is the Florida Keys. We were this close. This close. <laughs> but didn't never make it. We didn't make it. We made it to the Everglades. We just did not ride down to the Florida Keys. Make sure you put the Florida Keys on your list and give yourself some time to actually explore the entire area, especially if you take a boat out. And, you know, we've been to Florida a couple of times. And even on the Gulf Coast of Florida, the water is spectacular. If you never have a chance to go a little further on the Caribbean, Florida Keys, or just the whole Gulf Coast, that whole area, just this thing about to come. <laughs> Get away. Got a duck coming over that's here. Not a duck, that's a geese. A geese? A goose. Goose. A Greek or something. I don't know what it is. But anyway, yeah, we don't want this video to be too long. So you want to wrap it up right there? Yeah, we're going to wrap it up there. So if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe comment hit the like button and make sure you ring that bell so you can be notified when we put up another video with boots and jeans riders i'm cake and i'm rich until we see you again roll Peace. safe hope to see you on the road Peace. Peace.